in this video i explain edward air pump so edward air pump is used to remove the air and condensate from the condensers what is the main functions of the edward air pump it is used to remove the air and condensate from the condenser it is a wet air pump of a reciprocating types means they are remove both air as well as condensate that's why it is called as the wet air pump and inside the pump the piston is there and these pistons are reciprocate that's why it is called as the reciprocating type pump the edwards air pump consists of piston which has conical head as shown in the figure so here you see this is the figure of edward air pump this component is the piston and piston head have a conical shape so this is the conical shape the bottom of the pump casing is also a conical shape in order that piston head can be easily seated so this is the casing of the pump and the casing shape is also conical that's why the piston is easily seat on the casing the piston slides inside the barrel means this part is barrel okay barrel means it have a cylindrical shape and inside the barrel the piston is reciprocate up and down and upper end of the barrel is cover by using the covers okay so this is the cover and in a cover there is a number of delivery valve is there so this is the cover this part is also cover and on the cover the delivery wall is provided so here we written that is a number of delivery wall is provided on the down stock of the piston a partial vacuum is produced above it okay so when the piston is in this upper position okay at that time piston is start to move downward direction so when the piston is start to move in downward direction at that times the vacuum is create inside the barrels and when the vacuum is create this delivery valve is close and when this delivery valve is close it is also sealed by the water so here that is a condensate and water is there so this delivery valve is covered by using the waters when piston uncovers the port a so when the piston is moving for upward to downward strokes okay so this is the port a this is also port a okay so when piston is reach below the port a that means it's uncover the port a at that time what happen air and condensate from the condenser rush into the space above the piston means condensate and air from the condenser is enter in a upper part of the piston so it is enter here now before moving ahead i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of mechanical engineering for power plant engineering various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist as the piston further move down the conical part displaces the condensate which has collected in the bottom portion of the pump during the upward stroke of the piston and forces it to flow into the upper portion through the part b so when piston is moving in the upper direction at that time what happen condensate and air collected in the down side of this piston okay and this condensate and the air is move in a upper part of the piston when these pistons are moving in the downward direction okay so on this piston there is a number of port is provided it's called as the port b so the port b the air and condensate below the pistons are move in the upper side of the piston when the piston is moving in the downward directions now when the piston is move upward so when the piston is start to move in the upper direction then what happen it's raise the pressure slightly over that of the atmosphere okay so 
air and condensed pressure is increased then what happen delivery valve gets open and allow air and condensate to move out and flow finally to the hot well means when the piston is start to move in the upper direction at that times the pressure of air and condensate is increased delivery valve is opens and the air and condensate is moving in the hot well so when the piston is moving in a upper direction at that time what happen condensate air condensate and the air is enter in the bottom part of the piston that we understand in these points okay so when the piston is reach in the upper parts then they are start to move in the downward directions okay so when they move in downward direction air and condensate present below the piston is move in upper part through the part b the relief valve provided at the base of cylinder so here you see this relief valve is provided at the base of the cylinder is used to release the pressure if due to some reasons the pressure below the piston is exceed the atmospheric pressure so when the pressure of condensate and air below the piston is reach above the atmospheric pressure at that time this relief valve is open and they release the condensate and air to the atmospheres the special feature of edward air pump is the absence of suction valve and the bucket valve which are necessary in the ordinary reciprocating type air pump means in a simple ordinary reciprocating type air pump there is a suction valve is there and the bucket valve is there but in edward pumps this suction valve and the bucket valve is not used so this is the complete constructions and working of the edward air pumps so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to power plant engineering and other subject of mechanical engineering